get your backpacks, get your passports, and all that other good stuff, because we are doing a packing video. What's up you guys? So today I'm gonna be doing a packing video. I'm going to Central America in two weeks. I'm going to Nicaragua first, and then I'm gonna head down to Costa Rica after that at some point. Um, it's a little kind of up in the air at this point, but that's where I'm going. I've been to Costa Rica three other times before, so I have a pretty good handle on the climate and the kinds of things that I typically do down there. Of course, everybody is different. Um, you know, what you pack is obviously gonna depend on where you're going and how long you're going for and what you're gonna be doing. I've really kind of tried to pare down what I have in my backpack as much as possible. Um, it's not fun lugging, you know, 40 or 50 pounds, um, you know, on your back in a crazy hot climate so I kept that in mind I have tried to sort of pare things down where I can while still bringing along some things that to me are more luxury items yoga is a pretty big part of my life so I am bringing a travel mat and uh, a yoga strap I've got a portable speaker so some things like that I'm gonna break everything down but that just is you know something to think about um, for your own traveling packing type of needs and what you're gonna be doing so in this video I'm gonna lay everything out for you guys I'll break it down I'll explain what it is why I'm bringing it and I will also try to put as many links as I can to the stuff that I'm bringing in the description box below um, obviously I don't have links to everything some of this stuff is pretty old and I don't even know where I've gotten some of it but um, where it's useful and where I can I will just put links I'll put them in order um, in the order that I list them in um, so for anyone that's interested or they just kind of want to read more about what I'm bringing um, you can do that I'll I'll have all the links below. And so with that being said, let's get started. So before I get into what's gonna go inside my backpack, I just wanna really quickly show you guys the actual backpack I plan on taking with me on my trip. I'm not gonna do a full comprehensive review of this thing, otherwise this video will just be epically long. Um, but I just wanna really quickly show you a couple of my favorite features of this backpack. It is the Gregory J53 backpack. It is a 53 liter women's specific backpack, um, which is nice. It's got a lot of features on um, in the strap area that make this a lot more comfortable for anybody who's got a smaller torso. There's also adjustable chest straps, so these slide up and down depending on where you are in the booby area. You don't have to worry about straps coming across your chest, crushing you. That's not fun, no one wants that. So, um, yeah, lots of um, breathability. The straps are mesh. Um, there's a really nice um, kind of area in the back here that allows for a lot of airflow and things like that. This is wonderful for really hot climates when you don't want to have something pressed up against your back that can get kind of gross and uncomfortable. And the hip straps are also, um, again, designed for a woman's body, so they just sit a lot more comfortably, which makes carrying a really heavy load a lot uh, easier and nicer. It's just more pleasant. Um, very quickly, I'm just going to get into a couple of details I really love about this backpack. Um, the first one being that it is obviously a top loading backpack, but my favorite thing of this pack is the fact that it is also a front loading backpack. So what does that mean? Well, I'm just going to unclip the bottom straps. The zipper's down here. Basically what I can do is unzip this baby and I've got access to the entire pack through the very front. I've just got a pillow in here to kind of fill this thing out to show you guys um, how it works. But basically that's it. So you've got two options. You've got the front and you get the top and that just really makes packing so much easier. It's wonderful if you've got stuff in the bottom of your bag that you need to get to. You don't have to go through the top and dig everything out. Even if you're using packing cubes, that can get just super annoying. No one wants to do that all the time. So with a backpack like this, you can just sort of lay it on its side, open it up this way and get into whatever you need to get to, whether it's in the bottom of your bag, the middle of your bag, it's all there. Again, makes packing super easy as well because you can just kind of stuff everything in there and um, I really really like that. The other thing is with the Gregory backpacks they all come with a built-in rain cover which is also again really nice. Um, it matches obviously the color of the backpack which is very pretty. It's just a nice touch. It's good for peace of mind to have that on you. Obviously I'm going to Central America in rainy season so that's going to come in handy. Um, really quickly just your standard sort of 
um, top loading rucksack style bag. There is a ton of room in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you know, it's just a backpack. It's just a backpack. Um, I love it. I think it's great. And that, that's pretty much it for this. Um, I will put the link to this specific pack uh, in the description below. So if you guys are interested, you can go check it out. So with that being said, I will get into what is going inside this little baby. First up, I'm bringing three bralettes. These are really comfortable and versatile and they also double as yoga tops. I'm choosing quick drying material for all of my undergarments just to make hand washing a lot easier. Next, I'm bringing five pairs of basic quick dry black undies. These things wash super easily, which is why I really only need to bring five pairs. The easiest way I've found to stay on top of keeping the undie situation uh, nice and fresh and clean is to actually just take these right in the shower and wash them while I'm in there. Then I just wring them out, toss them aside, and finish what I'm doing in the shower and hang them up to dry once I get out. And this ensures that I always have clean unmentionables at all times and it just works really well. Lastly, I'm bringing one pair of socks for my running shoes. Next, I'm not gonna lie you guys, I have a slight bikini problem. I'm bringing five with me on this trip. Yes, I know that's way too many, but it's my one thing, so I'm just doing it. Next, for my tops and shirts, I'm bringing four tank tops, three t-shirts, one longer sleeved shirt, and one lightweight button-up shirt, which I'll probably use as a beach cover-up. For warmer clothes, I'm bringing one loose open cardigan for breezy rainy days, one basic hoodie. I doubt I'll be wearing this in the tropics, but this is my one warmish thing, and if you're like me and you find planes and air-conditioned places absolutely freezing, then this is still worth bringing even just for that. Next, I'm bringing two pairs of athletic shorts, one black stretchy pair, and my quick dry running shorts. And then a pair of simple black cotton shorts, my denim cutoffs, and a loose flowy pair of shorts that can be dressed up or down. Next for pants, I'm bringing one pair of bright yoga pants, one simple cropped black pair of leggings, and my navy lightweight loose pants. These are super comfy and really useful for travel. For dressier clothes, I'm keeping it fairly simple and just bringing a lightweight cotton dress. This one is super versatile and it can be dressed up or down. Sometimes I wear this with just a little belt to dress it up a bit more. I'm also bringing a blue maxi skirt. Again, very versatile. I can wear this with almost any tank top or t-shirt I have. And lastly, I'm bringing a little printed romper. Next for shoes, I'm bringing just a simple pair of black flip-flops, a nicer pair of brown leather sandals, probably more for going out, and lastly, my Nike running shoes, which I'll be wearing on the plane. For outdoor gear, I'm bringing a rain jacket. This one folds up into its own pocket, so it's nice and compact. I'm bringing a Panama hat, a black ball hat, and then lastly, I'm bringing a rechargeable headlamp. So this one doesn't take batteries, it just plugs right into the wall, which is super, super handy. Moving on to my toiletries. Um, I'm gonna film a separate video breaking down everything that's in my toiletry and my first aid kit. Um, but if you do one thing, I highly recommend you make sure that the toiletry bag you're using has a hook on it. Uh, this comes in handy more times than you could ever imagine, especially if you're doing the hostel thing. Um, sometimes there's just no counter space, or if there is, it's not the kind of counter you want to put your stuff on, if you know what I mean. So having that is super, super convenient, so look for that. This specific bag is actually quite old, but I have a very similar one in the links below. And then I am also bringing a very basic um, first aid kit. Got my sunscreen, band-aids, Advil, stuff like that in there. Um, let me know if you guys are interested. I'd be happy to do a separate video breaking down my toiletry and my first aid bag. On to electronic gear. I'm bringing my neoprene laptop sleeve, laptop, iPad, iPhone, accessory kit with chargers, cables, USB mouse, and GoPro accessories. My GoPro. Canon G7X slash Gorillapod, which I'm actually filming with, so they're not pictured. Uh, some spare batteries and memory cards. 
my portable Bose speaker and charger, which is a luxury item. I kind of weighed the pros and cons and I'm deciding I'm going to bring it. And last but not least, my headphones. Moving on to my day pack and the extra bags that I'm going to be taking on this trip in addition to my 53 liter Gregory backpack, which I will be checking. This backpack is uh, the Gonix 20 liter day pack. This thing's going to act as my uh, carry on bag for, you know, obviously my, my trip going down there. Um, and it makes a wonderful day pack. This thing actually folds up to the size of a CD case when it's not being used, which I love. So it's super, super lightweight and very versatile. Um, it comes in a range of colors. Obviously, I got the black one. I've got links in the description below because I really, really love this thing. And I, I especially love the fact that it packs up when it's not being used. So you kind of have the benefits of a day pack. 20 liters is actually a really good size. Um, but when it's not being used, it's extremely lightweight and it takes up almost no room. So you really Really can't lose with having something like this. For times when I don't actually want to carry around my day pack, I went ahead and got this canvas messenger bag, which is sort of going to act like a purse. It's not super big, but it actually still holds quite a lot. It's very, very lightweight. It's thin when it's not filled with anything, so it rolls up and takes up almost no room. I actually went ahead and waxed this to give it a little bit of a waterproof, sort of water resistant quality um, because of where I'm going. And I just think it's a good middle ground between having the option of a day pack, but also having sort of a purse to just go out and run small errands, grab groceries, go out to lunch, that kind of thing. I just didn't want to always have to be using the day pack. I'm also bringing a reusable shopping bag. This one's by Flip and Tumble. I've got the links in the description below. Super lightweight. It folds up really small to about the size of maybe a small apple and um, obviously takes up no room at all. I use this for anything from bringing stuff to the bathroom in a hostel to uh, going to the beach or just obviously getting food at a market or grocery store. Super versatile. I highly recommend bringing one of these. And as if I didn't have enough bags already, I am bringing a tiny little evening purse. This thing is, again, it's, it's some kind of fake leather. It folds up into literally almost nothing. It's very, very lightweight, which is why I justified bringing it. It's definitely a luxury item. The reason I'm bringing it is because there may be times where I want to go out and dress up a little bit nicer and obviously a day pack and my big bulky sort of canvas messenger bag might be a little overkill. And lastly, I'm just bringing a little coin pouch. This is great for going out and about. You can toss it in any bag that you're bringing out with you. It holds cash, credit cards, debit cards, things like that, leftover coins from change you receive. Um, it's just a really handy thing to have and I think it just takes the place of a wallet really nicely. And really quickly, just to give you guys an idea, I actually folded everything up as compactly as I could get it. And as you can see, like I said, the Gonex backpack is about the size of a CD case, if anyone still remembers what those look like. Um, so you can kind of get a sense of how tiny everything is once it's all folded up. And again, each item is very lightweight, so none of this is heavy at all. Um, so again, I kind of looks crazy like I'm bringing all these bags, but it really is taking up almost no room in my actual backpack. And lastly, moving on to my random miscellaneous items. First, I'm bringing a Turkish towel instead of the microfiber towels that you see a lot of other travelers using. I personally find the Turkish towels have a bit more versatility for my needs. Um, not only can I use this to dry off, but because of its larger dimensions, it also functions as a sarong and a beach towel. You can hang this up in hostels as a curtain for privacy. Um, you can use it as a scarf or a blanket on planes when it gets chilly. Um, I got this on Amazon and it's linked below. I really really recommend this. Uh, next, I'm bringing two pairs of sunglasses, my reading glasses, a filtered water bottle. Um, you don't need to bring one that has a filter, but I really recommend bringing just an empty bottle for water for traveling through airports. The money that you save not buying plastic water bottles is totally worth it. Uh, next, some spare plastic grocery bags for wet clothes and who knows what else. Um, these are really handy to have. And a Swiss army knife. I practice yoga pretty regularly, so I'm bringing my Manduka eco-travel mat and a yoga strap. 
I'm bringing a notebook and pen. Even if you don't bring a notebook, I really recommend bringing a pen for the plane and for filling in those customs and immigration forms. And lastly, for sleeping more soundly, I'm bringing earplugs and a kitty sleeping mask. I actually made this one, but you can get very similar ones on Amazon and I'll link those below. And of course, if a cat mask isn't your style, you can always just bring a cat. Just kidding, don't do that. All right, you guys, that is everything. Um, I hope that this video was useful for you in some way. If it was, definitely let me know, give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more packing related videos very soon. I've got one for my toiletry bag and another one for my day bag. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to check those out. And aside from that, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. That is okay because I still have some time and it turned out to be a really beautiful day. It was a little bit rainy this morning and I was a little worried, but um, the sun's out now.